Okay. <laughs> Uh, this next piece I'm going to play was uh, sometimes called the first published rag, but it's not. Um, it's just the first published uh, song with the title uh, having rag in it. And it's called Mississippi Rag by William Henry Krell. And just because I like telling anecdotes about these people that you're not going to hear anywhere else, um, Bill Krell, William Krell, the guy that wrote this piece, he was a very, very dedicated band leader in Chicago in the 1890s. And he worked with a lot of public figures in performing with his orchestra, starting around 1892, 93, around the time of the World's Fair in Chicago. And around 1900, just to give you an idea of how dedicated as a band leader he was, the band competition in Chicago was very tight. And his band was not good enough at that point. So he was starting to lose popularity. So he hired a young, a hot young violinist to play with them. So he would he would he would instruct the group um, in really like minute ways. Like if someone was out of tune, he would like slam his baton and say, "Stop! No, that's no. Someone is off." Like he would scream at them. But not only that, he got into a fight with this violinist not long after he hired him. They were having an argument at a gig, and he whacks him and he slams into a table, and Carl goes to jail for a week because of that. <laughs> This is the guy that wrote Mississippi Rag, <laughs> an avid German band leader from, uh, from Pennsylvania. Anyway, here's Mississippi Rag, from, written in 1896, published in 1897. 